Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Ooh, sorry. Today I got my hair cut. It's a little short, but that's okay. Got my coffee. This is gingerbread from Aldi. It's really good. Mm. Put that away. And I have a Dollar Tree haul and a couple little things that I got at the Target Dollar Spot. Nothing of any dramaticness, but a couple things I want to share you. So we'll start with Target. Um, I picked up a three pack of these little houses. Um, those shel I have a three sets of shelves on my kitchen wall, and I think these are going to be perfect for that. And they're just little. It's got a glare, sorry. But they're tiny, and they're just metal houses, and they were $5. And then I found the whisk ornament. That is that not adorable? And they do come with the gingerbread recipe on all of them. I grabbed two of those and I grabbed two of the rolling pins. I'm gonna collect some more. Um, I think I'm gonna decorate a tree in my kitchen with these in the red. Plus, I got some stuff with the Dollar Tree because I'm loving this red accent on the black and white. And I feel like I got oh, two sleds. And then I got the ski lifts, and I'm going to do something cute with the ski lifts, I think. But I grabbed those while I was just out and about today, getting my hair cut. It's desperate, guys. So I found the Gnome for the Holidays, two pot holders, which I think I may end up making a um, kitchen towel out of this for to hang on my stove. I didn't find the gnomes, like the 14-inch gnomes that come in the red and gray. Oh, I'm on the hunt. I don't know if my stores are going to get them. If anybody sees them, I'll pay you if you want to mail me one because I need them. But I loved these. So I grabbed a set of those. I picked up for my nephew who has a new puppy and for Christmas, I found these tubs in the pet section and it says... A house is not a home without paw prints and it just has a rubber seal lid on it and I'm gonna fill it with some puppy treats for their dog for Christmas it's gonna be a bigger dog so I'll get bigger treats so I grabbed that I mean, that was a great thing for a dollar please and I'm just grabbing bags here guys I picked up Ooh, this is fun I picked up two ornaments these they're plastic I don't know, let me see something. I'm wondering if you couldn't do like washies out. They don't smell funky. Wash them out really good and put like hot cocoa in them. I don't know if they're food safe. You'd have to research for yourself. I'm not doing that, but I grabbed two of these. I thought they would be fun to make an ornament. I picked up some filler. This is the sparkly snow, not the little balls, but this is more like the, I would guess it's called faux snow. I'm going to say it's more like a buffalo snow. So I grabbed a bag of that. I picked up two packages of the larger clothespins. I have a, another advent calendar coming up and I needed 25 and they come with 24, but that's fine. So I grabbed two packages of those for that project and also a set of felt. These are numbers. Um, I got white and black because I wasn't sure. I really wanted red too, but they didn't have the numbers in red, but that's okay. These are sticky back felt letters and you get 100. Hi. Hi, sir. You gonna say hi? Can you say hi to our friends? This is Wellington. Our friends, they like us. They like you. I just fed them dinner. Um, so I grabbed the white and the black. You get a fair amount of numbers. There's a hundred. Um, and there are stickers. So those will get utilized for some crafting. I'm just pulling out bags, guys. I picked up, okay, for the Christmas tree to go with all the Christmas decor, I did pick up just these red matte ornaments. I didn't want the glitter or the sparkly. I wanted the matte. Hi, baby. 
Um, I grabbed a bag of these Reese's for the advent calendar that I'm making. Um, just as a filler because I think he's 15. So I think we're going to put a little candy, but maybe like some dollars and some money and gift cards or something. I got to get with his mom. But I, for the video that I'm going to make, I needed something. So I just grabbed a pack of Reese's because I know he'll like those. Ooh, for my tree, I also, and I think these will go okay together. Yeah, I found I've, these. I've never seen them. They're large berry picks. I'll show you what they look like. But they're just three little berries twined together, and I can attach them to the tree. And Because I think I'm going to do a red and green tree in the kitchen. And maybe add some black ribbon or something. I don't know. But I thought these would be appropriate. And tell me, you get 16 of them in here. So I grabbed two. I had never seen those before, but I think they're coming out with newer stuff this year for that. And I bought this tree. I come having a hard time finding a green one. I could find all the white and those holographic, but not the plain green. So I just grabbed one. I don't know if I have any from last year. I don't think so. Um, I finally found one of these that says the North Pole Tree Farm. I got the mailbox. I want to find the tin because I love it with the green and this, but this is all I found at my store. I just have the car, but I think it's adorable. And you could put it out like as a display somewhere if the mail is coming or if you don't want the mail side, you could just do that. Put treats in it, give it as a gift. You could totally fill this with candy and gift card. Put a bow on it and give it as a gift. So I grabbed that. I found the Buffalo check in the red and black. These are dish drying racks. I love them. I put this actually under my coffee maker. Um, if I spill any water, it absorbs it, but I also slide it out from under the counter to fill it and slide it back and it just keeps everything tidy. I grabbed two because there wasn't a whole lot left. So I thought, well, I really like this um, red and black check. And here you could also use these for like placemats, um, put it on your microwave, put it under your microwave, anywhere really. They're nice and absorbent and washable, which is what I like them for. What you getting? We're wearing our Buckeye jersey today because the Buckeyes finally got to play. They won. I found another one of these projectors like I found at Halloween, but look what this one projects. I can't, it's Santa and his sleigh. I don't know if you can see that or not. They're fine. They just take two AAA batteries, not included. And you, you can turn them. Ooh, that was my fireplace. Um, when you put the butt, click the button, it stays on. Oh, here it is. It's on the side. And when you turn it on, it would it stays on. You could just sit this somewhere and have it project. I thought these are super fun. So I just grabbed one. They had a different one as well, but I didn't need two. I only needed one. Right, Dubs? Right, baby? He said right. Did you say right? Here. There you go. You say hi to our friends. You're being shy. He's being shy today. He just wants to sit here. Okay, you sit on the plastic bag. Um, for crafting purposes, I picked up this pillow. It is the, it's the mermaid, but I wanted it for a craft project. I'm taking out the stuffing because I needed some stuffing and I wanted it to be an all Dollar Tree gnome, but you could also use this sequins for a gnome hat. See, you would just, you could actually probably get two gnome hats out of one square if you cut it diagonally um but I'm just gonna open it up and take the stuffing out to make a gnome but like I said I wanted it to be all Dollar Tree project right I picked up oh guys I'm so excited about this it's an avocado scoop what in the heck Dollar Tree I'm gonna try to take it off Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, let's not rip you. Maybe I won't get it out of here. 
Okay, I won't. But it has a little knife to cut it open. And then you take out the seed and you scoop this down the side and it cuts your avocado for you. What? I just think this is fantastic. Let's see if I can get this off. I want to show you. Ah, oh, I can. There we go. You don't have to muscle it. You just have to be nice. Hold on. It's coming. It's coming. There we go. Look at it. it. So this opens up and you use this little serrated teeth. I don't know how well that'll do. We'll try it to open an avocado. And then you take this and you scoop it and it slices it for you. For one shiny dollar, what? I love this, I'm super excited. And it's Betty Crocker brand. So I'll be using that. I'll show you when I'm done. Then I found some fun little candles. They don't have any scent to them, but I think they will be really pretty accents on my mantle. I'm trying to get a good, so you can see here. It almost looks like a Christmas sweater. Isn't that pretty? And it's all wax. You can burn these or not. I'm gonna use them like in between some greenery, maybe on my tear tray, maybe on my mantle. When I just throw things across the room on my mantle when I decorate for Christmas up there or on the tray over here. But I think these will look really pretty in between some greenery just sitting out. So I grabbed two of those because I don't know, two is a good number, right? It's going to be a pretty fast haul tonight, kids. Maybe. What time is it? We're 11 minutes in. All right, that stays in the kitchen. I'm trying to sort as I am doing this, right? Because then I can just take all this stuff upstairs. Just a couple bags left. I grabbed two of these 15-foot garlands. Now, individually, they're kind of wimpy, right? But you can take the 15-foot, fold it in half, right? So it will be like eight and a half inches long and twist it around itself. And now you've got a thicker greenery, you know, and it looks more airy if you twist it upon itself like that. You can even take three strands of it and then take some of the berry garland and the pine cone garland that we've been finding and even the bells. And you could just wrap it around and make yourself a beautiful greenery garland for anywhere for a pretty reasonable in price. I mean, the base is $2 and I can get a 15 foot garland if I wanted or a couple shorter ones. And you can also like wrap your banister if you have a banister or do all kinds of stuff with this and then decorate it, right? Or you can make Disney, Mickey Mouse ears. I don't know. Snowman's. It's endless. It's Christmas. All, oh, I'm sorry, Deb. All rules go out the window at Christmas time as far as I'm concerned. I picked up one of these. I love these. I've always loved them. They're little trees, and I think they look fantastic on, like, something that's navy blue or black. Just a real dark background, and then your trees. And I think they're fantastic. So we're going to do something with these. Um, they do need to be sprayed because... Hashtag glitter bombs. And speaking of a glitter bomb, look at this. I just needed one to accent something sparkly. This is definitely less is more. It's a glitter branch. Probably need to seal it. They had it all different colors, but I really just like the gold. And I honestly think it's going to end up in this tray behind me just laying with some things around it and maybe like, where's it at? Where's that candle? Like think about this, if you had some greenery and then this, and you just put your candle sitting it all down. Like I think that would be pretty. So I grabbed one of those cause one is enough. And then I only found two of these and I'm on the hunt for a couple more. This is not glitter, it just looks like snow. It's fake snow glued to fake leaves but I liked this a lot and again this can just lay out but I feel like this will give a nice pretty accent to a bouquet or to some garland 
you can make a swag you don't have to spend a lot on greenery um and i found too that if i go and get like joanne or hobby lobby or michael's greenery like the bigger fuller and then i buy some dollar tree and incorporate it i feel like that um boosts everybody's value it makes everything look better and what i was thinking too in this tree getting some of those pine picks to fluff up this tree to make it look fuller but i think i'm gonna not do that with these but you could i don't know I'm, i know what i'm gonna i want to do with that i don't know what's gonna happen to that all right we got a couple things left in here i grabbed some rubber gloves these are great couldn't remember if i wore a large or a medium um, but I've made the conscious decision this year to wear the stinking gloves and stop letting my hands crack all winter long because I'm washing dishes and doing stuff and then my hands get so dry. Um, a little word of advice, not only dishwashing gets your hands dry, but I knit, I do needlework, I work with paper, all of that dries your hands. Okay, I wear a large. And they're not bad. I mean, they're a dollar. Get a couple pairs, stick them under your sink, and put them on. So I have a, I have a yellow pair on my sink, but it's kind of getting gross. I use them to dye some fabric, so I wanted to get a secondary pair. But for like one dollar, they're great. These are a nice thick rubber, and I'm just trying to make that conscientious effort to wear them, and then use a lot of moisturizer on my hands, but keep them dry with the gloves. If I'm cleaning the bathrooms, if I'm sh cleaning my shower, whatever I'm doing that gets my hands in chemicals, I've already cut. My fireplace is doing weird things. It's a wood burning. I've already, on this part of my finger, already had a crack that I'm dealing with. So I'm trying to keep that at bay. I found an aroma diffuser. What? It works. I had to, I grabbed two just to see. I wanted to try one out before the video. It works. What you do, I'll show you. It comes with two of these little felt discs. You have to put the batteries in it. No water. You unscrew the bottom. It like unhooks. The bottom does here. It turns. Anyway, and in this hole it's this piece of felt and you put your essential oils on that and above it there's a fan you turn this on it's a little loud I'm not gonna lie but it blows the fan blows that on this and it distributes your oil it worked I'm trying I had to lick my finger because it was okay there we go see there's a fan in here and when you put the batteries that fan spins and your little felt piece just sits there I'm telling you it's fantastic it worked like a charm. I'm going to leave the bottom off because I'm going to do another one and put it on my desk upstairs. Now you hear the fan. It makes a little bit of noise, but it's neater. It's neater than the water ones if you're in a place where you can't do the humidity, the humidifier ones, which I run the humidifier ones at my house because I feel like it's dry. And at nighttime, even if I don't put um, essential oils in it, it still diffuses the water. So that's what I do at night. Um, I grabbed a mop. I'm gonna see, this might end up making a gnome beard. Dollar Tree gnomes, guys, we gotta make some gnomes. So I picked up some things from the Dollar Tree to try, some different things, and we're gonna make a couple gnomes. And just see how they turn out. But this is one of them. This is the mop that it like Velcro's on the back of your um, mop, like a, there's the Dollar Tree Swiffer brand, which is actually kind of nice, and it's fluffy. So I grabbed one of those. Two more things. Um, I grabbed a lighter. That's a great place to pick up lighters for candles. Now, for my fireplace, I use the long lighters, but this is good for candles, and I needed another one. Boring, boring. And I found these socks again, and I got two more pair. One for me and one for my sister-in-law. Because she wears a larger shoe. I think she wears an 11 or a 10 in ladies. And I want her to try them. And if she likes them, I'll pick them up for her too. And I grabbed one more gray for me and one for her. I'm telling you, if you have a bigger foot, 
wider or large. Like I wear an eight and a half or a nine, but my foot is kind of wide. These stay on. These are the men's no show socks, shorties, whatever. I wore them all day while I was working. And then I put my shoe shoes on, tennis shoes and went outside and they did not slip off my heel at all. So if you have a larger foot and you have a hard time with no-show socks, try these in the men's section. And they come in black, white, and this is that, this charcoal gray. I grabbed myself another pair because I threw one of mine in with my towels by mistake and it came out all linty and pilly. And I'm like, for a buck, I'll toss them and just get another pair. So um, yeah, they're not easy to find. I don't see them at all of my Dollar Trees, but if you have... A need or want to try these but you have a hard time with the ladies try the men's and I saw them at Target too which was exciting all right I think that is everything I've gotten so far so I hope you enjoy please like subscribe that really helps my channel leave a comment below share with your friends and you have a wonderful week